USA is in full-blown crisis. Last week, more than 450 drunk American Airlines passengers were forced to sleep in cots at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago because of unusually long lines. The American Airlines COO was so upset about the issues with TSA that of the $250 million they've collected in baggage charges, they are going to give $4 million to the TSA. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle Tacoma Airport Authority is so upset about what is going on that with a total of 55,000 plus TSA employees, they have hired 90 new screeners private. Does that tell us something about what's going on? You know, we don't need to read this stuff. We know what's going on. It's a government agency. If you're planning on traveling this summer on an airplane, God bless you. <laughs> because it's going to take you forever. And I'm going to give, give you a travel kit, my suggestion. A bottle of tequila in your right pocket, <laughs> a couple books in your left pocket, and a lot of patience. Now, the TSA has testified before Congress. And it's what they have said, is there are three issues with regards to why they are having so many delays at the airport. One of them was they didn't expect the number of passengers as far as the increase in traveling passengers for the summer. That's strange. Number two, they don't have enough employees. They've got 55,000, but it's not enough. And number three, their pre-check program or pre-board program that they have instituted for $85, you can get one of these cards and you can pre-board and you don't really have to go through the lines. But not enough individuals, only 9 million individuals actually purchase these cards. They were expect expecting 25 million. <laughs> at $85 a clip. So, as Warner Wolf, Wolf said, and I lived in the New York, New Jersey area for a number of years, and he used to be on TV, and he always said, go to the tape, right? Go to the tape. Here are some facts which are unconfirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy percent of weapons make it past TSA screeners. It costs six million dollars to find a gun screener. We spend more than double on TSA versus clean energy. It's been unconfirmed that problems at TSA are costing one billion and a half dollars and more than $12,000 or 12,000 jobs each month. Recently, Neffinger, who's the in charge of TSA, testified before Congress. And of course, he testified saying that he was aware there were problems. They were attempting to correct them. They needed more money, they needed more employees, and yes, he had to make some changes. See, he was under fire. His head was on the block. What did he do? He fired his head security officer <laughs> and his staff, some of that gentleman's staff. And the reasoning was because that by doing this, it would like help increase the efficiency in lines at the airports. I don't get that. Here are a couple more facts. Recently, 
it was found that based upon a pro procurement inefficiency, 185 million dollars of equipment is sitting in a very expensive storage space somewhere unknown. TSA inadvertently acquired this equipment and it's not being used. As I mentioned, they have 55,600 employees. This is one I really love though. Congress just gave them 34 million more dollars. And of the 34 million more dollars, 8 million is going to be used to hire 768 screeners. <laughs> 768 for eight million dollars? I want their job. That's over a hundred thousand dollars a person. Now I checked online today. I want to see what the average screener made. The average screener makes about thirty-nine at starting salaries about thirty-nine thousand dollars. I I don't know. I don't get it. It simply does not make sense to me what's going on. So as I say, go to the tape, like Warner Wolf said. And here's some suggestions. Number one, I do think the airlines themselves have been the causation of some of this, these issues. And the passengers, we passengers, pay up to like $5 a ticket in order to travel, in order to compensate TSA. At the same time, the airlines are charging us $25 to $30 a bag to check it out. So obviously, people are going to try to take on as much luggage on the airplane as they can. And if they take on more luggage, it's going to take more time. I have not heard one complaint or heard of any disarray or delay of time where the bags are being checked in outside of the airport or inside and they're not carried on, carry ons. I haven't heard a peep about them. So my conclusion is there's obviously some issues. But it's the government again. Now I have a question for you. Do you feel that TSA has done a good job since 9-11? Absolutely not. Well, I, I'm kind of surprised at that. <laughs> I, here's, I, I would say this, that there has never, there has not been one plane that has been taken over by terrorists since 9-11. So in that respect, they've done a good job. But they, really, have they been efficient, I think is the better question. Another issue, I don't know if you've seen, I, when I go to the airport, and I travel a lot, when I go to the airport and they profile me, I'm like, I should be profiling them. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, really, where did, I mean, I, I really honestly don't know where they get these people. But I do think the bottlenecks are being caused by, by the, luggage issue. I do think it's a traffic issue, but my conclusion is at least let's do a study and find out what's going on. But my feeling is privatization is the answer to any governmental agency. So, Smith.